Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Whitney Moore. When I was a young, ripe teenager and I began to develop an interest in boys, my dad literally sent out a chain email saying he had a shotgun, an acre of land in the back, and a shovel, and he noted that he wasn't afraid to go back to prison. He had none of those and had never been to prison, but it's a fact that dads love threatening potential new boyfriends and embarrassing their daughters. See, I was going to compliment your dad on owning that much land. It's a shame that that was just a lie. <laughs> However, instead of chain emails, these days dads get the power of outdated memes. Extreme reputable news source DailyMail.uk had this searing hot take on a dad who shut down his teenage daughter's ex-boyfriend in what turned out to be an increasingly ridiculous Facebook Messenger exchange with liberal use of both early 2010s viral images and, of course, the N-word. Why? Personally, I think the dad was being a little unfair. He did, after all, start the message by asking his permission to talk to his daughter and use the popular internet colloquialism, please, which means please, which means he was trying to be polite. That's what that means? Yes! I thought it meant primary landing zone this entire time. That makes so much more sense. Can I have some pizza primary landing zone? Can we go to the movies primary landing zone? Also, I think the dad should know that if he's gonna name his daughter Skylar, she's probably going to attract some unsavory types. His fault, really. Wait, really? Hold on. The, the dad was being on his guard. He was being dadly. What if Skylar was a family name? Do you really think that Skylar is a family name? Well, I mean, it could be, or maybe they're just big fans of breaking Skylar? Up. Okay, no. But he knew in naming her Skylar that he'd have to do some extra dad and dad he did. Did this dad totally school the 15 year old boy with memes that are already too old for him to even relate to? Or was he a total downer that interrupted these two star-crossed lovers from their true destiny? <sighs> Let's break down a few choice moments and you can decide for yourself. Hey Robert, I'm Skylar X. Is there any way I can talk to her pulls, sir? <laughs> No. Put a shirt on, also. Pull, sir. I have not talked to her in two years. I don't particularly care about that. Stop messaging me. So you don't care about your duter? And your duter is old enough to make on her own mind. If she can't to talk, she can. If she don't, she don't have to. What did I say? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Time to get memed. Dr. Evil, how about no? <laughs> what do I have to do to impress you? I mean, I like your daughter. She is pretty nice and I wanna date her and treat her like the queen she is. And as a father, you should make sure she is happy. Let her date guys, but just set some rule for both of them about dattying. <laughs> how about no? This time with a bear. Just tell her my name, Nathan Gray, and tell her I love her and tell me what she says back then. I will never text her again. Hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on. I. Boom, Dos Equis guy, haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Trolled. This girl suck a dick! Uh, here's a meme. Seriously? Uh, how much paint chips did you eat as a child? How many dicks, period, have you, period, sucked as a child? No, period. Whoa, I didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose me, memed. Just tell Skylar I asked about her and bye. Listen, I'm not saying this kid is without flaws. It's disrespectful to call the girl you likes dad a bitch and say the N-word if you're white for sure, which we skipped. We skipped it for obvious white for reasons. <laughs> uh, but do you remember being a teen? There's so many feelings. And I think he was doing the right thing by asking the father's permission. And the dad responded like a total asshole and frankly like kind of a neckbeard by sending memes that are not relevant anymore. Like if you're gonna try to at least communicate with memes, try to understand that they only have a shelf life of a couple months, you know? I shudder to think about how edgy this dad probably thought he was being. Poor Skylar. Poor Skylar. But also, like, I can't defend this kid either. If he was her ex-boyfriend, they've been broken up for two years, and the first thing he does in two years is talk to her dad via Facebook Messenger? I mean, this guy's a scrub to be sure. But now we want to hear from you. Are you on Team Dad, Team Dude, or Team Mystic? Let us know down in the comments below. And hey, do you love learning? Do you love knowing more about the world around you seven days a week? Well, you should go check out our friends over at DNews and Seeker. They make incredible videos about science, about health, about the world around us, about history, about sociology, you need to go check out D News and Seeker at their channels. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Whitney Moore. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello, participating members of society. Julian and my running mate, Trace, here for D News. Two and Why do we vote for people we don't like? Does likability even matter?